Well, here's another look at our little space rock. I've managed to uh, grind a flat on the top and the two sides with my diamond grinder. Well, this is extremely hard, this stuff. Um, and it was more uh, of a breaking off than a grinding off, but um, anyway, that's what we have. So, uh, 55 point nine, nearly 56 ohms resistance across it. All I'm going to do now is use my signal generator and uh, send a signal through it, uh, square wave to start with, and um, have a look on the scope, what it looks like at uh, various different places across that flat, and um, see if we can find anything else unusual about it. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, so uh, looking at the scope, I found something a little odd. Um, I have a 100 ohm resistor here. I've just set on a square wave for my signal generator, 6 volt peak to peak. Um, and I'm just checking my scope across uh, my signal genera generator across a 100 ohm resistor. Um, just to make sure that what I'm seeing with our rock here isn't um, something happening in the scope. So, uh, as we can see there, we have a nice square wave and it's very even. So, um, what I'm going to do now is remove that resistor and we're going to use our uh, space rock as the resistor and I'm simply placing my signal generator across it with that square wave and if I place the scope here you can see that our wave is offset and that's why I wanted to check um, the signal generator with the uh, set resistance across it to make sure something wasn't going on with the signal generator but um, as you can clearly see we have some sort of diode effect going on and no matter where I place it along that flat it is the same Okay, so it seems like um, our rock is acting like some sort of diode. So one would think that if we swap the polarity around, we should be able to get the bulk of our square wave now in the positive direction. Once again, we'll place our scope in the middle. Although we have less voltage, it is still in the negative direction. And the bulk of the uh, voltage across that pulse is still negative. I'll just turn that up. Uh, drop the voltage per division down a bit. Get a little more clearer. There we go. It's the same, even uh, close down to our negative side. It's the same effect. If I put it up near the positive side, it's the same effect. So, um, regardless of which way we have our polarity around, get a bulk voltage in the negative direction. Um, so I found that quite interesting really. We have a diode that's not um, polarity conscious. 
you will see the amplitude of the voltage is a little higher around that way but nonetheless so we have uh, two divisions there on the bottom one division on the top so it's one volt on the negative side and half a volt on the positive side so um, let's have a 33.366.6 percent ratio or one third to two thirds One volt on the negative side, and what we should do is set this up to read it. I'll go V max and V minimum. see a little more clearly now. Let the scope do the work for us. So our minimum voltage is 540 millivolts and our maximum is 320. And I'll once again swap the polarities over from our signal generator. No one would think that um, being a true diode we would have the opposite effect where we have more positive than negative which we do not. Our minimum voltage now is 1.08 volts and our maximum voltage is 540 millivolts. So um, and uh, we can go anywhere on our little rock and the results will be the same <coughs> even if I place our probe very close to our mounting point you can see the flat side of ground on there I can go right next to it which you would think being a resistor um, being close to the negative like that with the probe we would get bugger all but we actually have a higher minimum voltage now So um, I'll go right down just before I touch it. Doesn't get any closer than that. And there you go. So it doesn't seem to matter how close to either either. It's very odd because it's um, working back to front the closer I get to the positive side, the less voltage we have on the negative side. But um, even if I go across the signal generator, it's actually Throwing the signal generator out as well. As you can see there, that is across the signal generator itself. 1.16 volt max, 1.42 minimum. So, um, quite an interesting little rock, this one. Some very strange properties. Seems to be a um, more of a full wave bridge rectifier in the negative direction than anything else. So I'm not sure how that works. It's almost like it's somehow sucking up um, some of the uh, positive current flow.
anyway, um, that's what we have at the moment. Not sure to do with it next. I'll think of something, no doubt. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay, so here was our next test. I have my signal generator set on 10 volts peak to peak, 200 hertz with an AC sine wave. And coming from our signal generator, positive to a 100 ohm resistor, and then on the other side of the 100 ohm resistor, we're going through our rock. And then you'll see three grounds on here one, of course, being the scope probe and ground, and the scope probe itself is on with the signal generator. This green lead is going to one side of an AC cap, which at the moment is the ground side. You will see that I have my multimeter positive also hooked on the ground side. Um, here we have a probe hooked to the other side of the cap and of course our digital multimeter is hooked to the other side with our probe. So um, with the negative side on the ground side of the system with the cap hooked to the positive side this has some sort of diode effect you would think we'd get a negative voltage it's got a little bit in there at the moment we can short that out so reading zero and I'll place the probe in the middle and you see we have a positive voltage in the cap so if I short that out once again so we got zero and I'll take the negative side and put it on the positive side. One would think it'd be all us about face. Once again, and we still have a positive voltage. So uh, that is also interesting. Not quite as much, but you're seeing on the scope, depending on which way you have it around, as to how far the amplitude goes negative. Um, <coughs> it's acting more like um, some sort of full wave bridge rectifier rather than just a single diode, as far as I can make out. So I'm um, actually going to pass some DC current through it now and try this little test again, see what happens. Cheers guys. Okay, so now we're pure DC. We're coming off the negative side. Going into the uh, bracket that's holding our little rock here. Um, yes, I've got colours ass about, but anyway, that is the negative side. Going through our rock, coming out of it, through our little incandescent bulb, and back around into positive. So, um, have our multimeter hooked up across our cap. This is an AC cap. Um, and I have it so it's polarity correct at the moment. So in other words, our green one here is going to the negative side of the battery. So it's the negative side of our cap and the negative side of our multimeter. And of course this will be the positive side of our resistive rock. And here we have our probe, which is on the positive side of the cap, along with our positive for our multimeter. So um, we've got 10 millivolts in there, I'll short that out. There we go. So we should get a positive reading, which we do of 2.4834567. So 2.5 volts. So, all things being equal, if we take this and put it on the positive side of our resistor, we should have 2.5 volts um, negative come up, which we don't, we have 5.25 volts. So for some reason, um, we lose two or half of our voltage in one direction and um, 
not in the other. So <coughs> what I will do is we'll go from uh, where are we? So negative seven point seven nine and if I swap this around we should get positive seven point seven one seven two thereabouts close enough. Um, but yeah, if we go in our little rocky here, 2.5 volts, and where it should be the same, only negative, it's not, it's double, just about, just under double. So, uh, somehow, our little rock is um, acting very much like a uh, double action diode or a four-way bridge rectifier with a voltage drop higher in one direction than the other. So there you go, that's about it for this little uh, demo. And it does get warm. Um, might make a good heater, that's about it. But uh, yeah, some strange things with it. Cheers guys.